Welcome back friends, it's Kyle Rosell and today I wanna to make a video in response to a poll I recently put out on Instagram. And it was simply, how do I keep my coffee fresh for months at a time, even years? So today we're gonna to attack this topic because freshly roasted coffee can have a short window for peak flavor. And you wanna enjoy your coffee. Let's dive right into it. So what's the best way to extend the life of your coffee and make it last longer? I'll get right to the point. Despite rumors you may have heard, freezing coffee has been proven to slow its aging and preserve peak flavor and improve grind consistency. I know, I know, I know, probably not what you've been told. And that's why I wanted to make this video. But wait, don't just go through all your coffee in the freezer just yet. There's a reason why many have believed that freezers will hurt your coffee. Stick around, we're gonna talk all about that. So. Should you freeze your coffee? Well, maybe and maybe not. Let me explain. You should freeze your coffee if you find yourself in one of these situations. If you're wasting coffee because it's gone stale and haven't finished the bag quick enough, or you're constantly running out of coffee because you don't want to buy too much and it goes stale, or you wanna have a variety of coffees to drink from without worrying about drinking multiple bags at a time. Maybe you wanna reduce the fear of missing out, no more wishing you could purchase multiple limited run coffees at the same time. And surprisingly, if you wanna improve grind consistency and distribution, you should freeze your coffee. But why freezing of all methods? Well, to keep your coffee from going stale, you're going to need to lower its temperature and reduce its exposure to oxygen. Once a coffee is roasted, it is immediately under attack by its environment. Heat and moisture and other realities can change the flavor of the coffee. But one of the greatest factors in coffee staling is oxygen. And this is called oxidation. And it's the process of oxygen interacting with your coffee. You can begin to notice a change in the taste of your coffee just minutes after grinding and it's exposed to oxygen. And that's why grinding coffee on demand fresh is so important. It's why I've made so many videos on so many different coffee grinders, which I'll link above right here. But this is where freezing comes to play. It allows you to reduce the rate at which coffee oxidizes and stales and allows you to preserve the flavor over a long period of time. How much longer you ask? Get this. Tom Fitch of Manchester Coffee Archive says that every day a coffee spends in a domestic freezer at about negative 18 degrees Celsius is equal to about 90 days of coffee aging at room temperature. 90 days. That means a coffee frozen on day seven past roast will take 2,070 days or approximately five years and eight months to reach the same point in the aging process as the same coffee left at ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius for 30 days. Still don't think freezing makes a difference? Now, before you just go through a bag of coffee in the freezer, there are some realities that we need to talk about. For example, this math doesn't take into effect the negative variables of the freezer, things like freezer burn and moisture. So while freezing can prolong the life of coffee, if not stored properly, can also damage the coffee, which is probably why you've heard, don't freeze your coffee. I'm going to show you how to avoid all of these negative variables and freeze your coffee well. So Kyle, do I just take my bag of coffee and throw it in the freezer? No, don't do that. There are so many ways to store coffee, both in and out of the freezer. And let's be honest, it can be difficult to know which method is best at times, which I wanna pause right here and say, if you're planning to store your coffee for only about 30 days, freezing coffee is probably not worth it. You could probably even leave a coffee out of the freezer for 45 to 60 days, if not longer. Regardless, if any of the variables I mentioned before affect you, freeze your coffee. Or if you just wanna save a coffee for later, freeze your coffee and keep watching because some of these tips that I'm gonna give you may affect your coffee regardless of if you freeze or not. If you're gonna freeze your coffee, don't just stick the bag in the freezer. I found that even with the one-way valves on most coffee bags, they don't prevent the negative elements of the freezer, often leaving my coffee with that classic freezer taste that nobody wants. So vacuum sealing with plastic bags currently seems to be the best available option for long-term freezer storage. This is what I do to store my coffee and it works. So how do you do it? Well, there are two options here. The first one, you'll need a vacuum sealer, but don't worry, 
They're really not that expensive. In fact, the one that I'm using right now is about $50 on Amazon. In fact, I'll link some of them down below in the description if you wanna check any vacuum sealers out. If you're using a vacuum sealer like I do, there are two options to store your coffee. You can freeze the entire bag and vacuum seal it completely, or you can empty the bag and vacuum seal the bare beans. Regardless of which option you choose, I'd advise doing one thing to avoid waste. Leave your bags with some extra space so that you can reuse them after unsealing them later on. We'll talk more about this later. But maybe you don't wanna invest money into this just yet and you don't wanna purchase a vacuum sealer. Listen, I totally understand that. Another option to seal your coffee is to take a large freezer Ziploc and get a straw and use your lungs. Legit, close the bag all the way tight to the straw and suck as much air out of the bag as possible. This is much more hassle than the convenience of a vacuum sealer, but it costs nothing but your breath and a Ziploc bag. In my experience with this, it doesn't quite seal as great as a vacuum sealer, but it's a great option for those not wanting to invest. If you do this, be sure to suck as much air out of that bag as possible. You wanna make sure that there's no oxygen or no moisture in that bag. Both of these options drastically reduce moisture or any oxygen during freezing, which removes any of the possibility of freezer burn and that terrible freezer taste. So when should you freeze? As I mentioned earlier, coffee can peak at its most desirable flavor anywhere from seven to 30 days off of roast. Depending on the roast level and the desired brew method, either espresso or filter, this number can vary. So I would advise always freezing from about seven to 14 days off of roast. I find this helps with consistency and should stop the clock on when the coffee is at its optimal age, especially coffee that will be brewed for espresso. If you find yourself brewing lighter roasts for filter coffee exclusively, waiting slightly longer can help as lighter roasted coffee ages slower than darker roasted coffees. I'd advise anywhere from 14 to 28 days before freezing. On this note, while coffee can be ground frozen and it's actually proven to improve grind consistency, I would caution against opening a full bag while still frozen. This will expose the cold beans to moisture and risking the coffee to experience oxidation and sweating your beans, the things that you're working so hard to work against. Rather, what I would do is pull your coffee from the freezer the night before and leave it sealed until it reaches room temperature. The next morning, your coffee will be ready to grind, and if possible, storing the coffee in an airtight container once open will help prolong the coffee even more. But the idea to let your coffee arrive at room temperature is a debated subject, and Tom Fitch at Manchester Coffee Archive has mentioned that this isn't completely necessary. But I'd still advise it is a good practice, if possible. But if you're in a pinch, don't let it stress you out, just drink your coffee. One of the greatest advantages about freezing coffee with this method is that you can portion out your coffee bags so that you can enjoy a single coffee at multiple times. It's the best. This can be as simple as portioning a bag into one half or thirds and pull that portion from the freezer weeks, months, or even years down the road. We'll talk more about that in a second. Do you have that favorite coffee that's incredibly seasonal and only comes around once or twice a year? Well, you can portion out your coffee and freeze in multiple portions and drink that coffee all year long. Another option is to portion your coffee into single doses and freeze them in individual pouches, let's say 12 to 20 grams. And you can pull them from the freezer and grind them on will. Like mentioned earlier, when using a vacuum sealer, I'd always advise leaving extra room in the sealed bags. This enables you to cut the bag close to the seal and reseal them for future coffees, thus vastly reducing any waste. Things like test tubes and mason jars are other popular forms to freeze coffee in, but I've always found it very, very tough to find that space in my freezer. So I'm just sharing with you the method that I find works. But if you have a dedicated freezer for coffee, maybe this is something that's possible for you. If that's you and you're using mason jars or test tubes, let me know in the comments down below. So how long can coffee last in the freezer? Well, this is a question that I get all the time. Coffee can last in the freezer if stored properly for not only weeks and months, but years. Again, think of that math that we talked about earlier. 90 days in the freezer is equivalent to one day at room temperature. That's insane. Do the math on that. Your coffee can last for years and years. Explain why time flies when you're having fun. But it's very important to remove any oxygen or moisture from the container before freezing. This is something that many people haven't done in years past and that's why you've heard, don't freeze your coffee. If moisture and oxygen is removed, you will be set for years to come. Be sure to write down in the comments if this is something you're gonna try out or this is something that interests you. Also, be sure to tamp that subscribe button and purge that like button in this video if this was informative or helped you in any sort of way. It would really help out this channel and I would appreciate it. Be sure to follow and tag me on Instagram in your coffee freezing journey. I'd love to see your journey in coffee. And click here for another coffee tutorial. 
But in the meantime, continue to brew great coffee and continue to brew at home. Peace. We will see you guys next time.